this is so amazing. Like, I, I honestly can't even describe to you how happy I am to get this one because <laughs> it's so cute. Okay. Welcome back to the Overtop episode of Growing Kids TV with myself, Mike, and Lindsay. And it's over the top for one giant reason. This is a $750 Smy World mystery box. Our last giant Smy World box, we pulled a one out of 24 piece Huckleberry Hound. That, that was huge. Yeah. Right? We got the rubber ducky on that. And that might be in every box because it's such a big box. I'm not sure how they did it. I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah. If we get a rubber ducky, it might be, hey, everybody got a rubber ducky because it's such a big box that everybody has a big grail in it. Uh, or it might be the top grails of the big grails are the rubber duckies, but we don't know. Uh, and speaking of everything that's in a box, we're going to talk about it right now. And then we'll do featured Funko time, and then we'll go back uh, to open the box. So in this box could be one of these things. We'll put the picture up here. All right, so we are going to be reading off the phone for this because I couldn't possibly memorize this entire thing. But we got the picture up here, top row of this box. Big boy, Gizmo Flocked, which just to let you know, we already have. A... <laughs> All right, just kidding. Uh, we're extremely grateful to get that. Uh, the Batgirl Chase, the Mr. Incredible, that would be an amazing hit for us. Mm -hmm. um, the two-pack Joker glows in the dark. We want that one. Right now we're on a big glow in the dark thing. Uh, and while we're in the middle of this, we're just gonna do the featured product. And the reason is the featured product today is the Joker Rubber Ducky. And we thought this was important today because it goes with Smile World's theme. Mm -hmm. If you guys don't know, we just mentioned a little bit a minute ago, but Rubber Duckies is their top hits or grill hits. I'm not sure exactly when they do it. Uh, for the most part, it's like their top three or four hits in the box. Uh, and it says Cosplaying Ducks by Tubbs. Uh, and this is really cool. It's Joker. And they have other sets. They have Ghostbusters. They have Borderlands. Uh, but I really like this one, obviously, with my Joker collection here. Uh, that's missing a couple because we have a black light or a plane without there that we're bringing in a different glow in the dark. So we got a glow in the dark Joker already. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can get a rubber ducky and Joker, kind of tie it all in. That would be awesome. All right, so back to this. Sorry, John Cena, Rorschach, and then the metallic trio of the Ad Icons. I would freak out. Count Chocula, Boo Berry, Frankenberry. That would be awesome. Shazam, always a big crowd favorite. Keegan Jin from Star Wars. Uh, and that's, we saw Professor Josh open yep. that. That's a huge hit. Yep. The Notorious B.I.G. Cream Soup. That would be awesome. Oh man. Then we got King Felix. And I believe that's a 34 piece or something. That's a $700 pop. That's crazy. And we know that's not an option for us because one of our viewers slash Instagram friends, James, said, hey, do you mind if I make a video of my unboxing and you guys can put it on this video of the $750 Smile World box? And we said that would be a great idea. But because I don't really know anything about videos and stuff like that, he did send over this picture and this is his haul from this box. And it's the Vincent Vega from Pulp Fiction, which is amazing by itself. Yeah. And the gold King Felix. That's an awesome box. Yeah, and we got the King Felix before, obviously not mm -hmm. the gold one, but we got the middle level one. It's still over $100, it's an amazing hit. Yeah. In fact, he was a rubber ducky out of a Smile World box. Oh, I yeah. think he might have been Lindsay's first rubber ducky. I don't know. Uh, and then we got Hawkman. We got Freddy Funko as Genie, which is it's one of the biggest. That's the metallic one? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And that's one of the ones that we personally love as well. Yeah. Uh, Kiss Demon, the Glow Chase, that's a huge one. That'll bring us back to our early, early YouTube days. We got Freddy Funko with yellow eyes and a sword. I don't know, is that a is that a Game of Thrones one? I don't know, let us know. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry if I'm really offending somebody. We're gonna get it and we're gonna be like, oh, we got the this one. 
Uh, there's the Hatbox Ghost Glow in the Dark, which is amazing. That one's cute. There's Raphael. Oh my gosh. Metallic we... Ninja Turtle. That would be insane. That'd even be if, great. Even if that was one of the boxes. By the way, minimum value on this is $700. Even if that's one of those, like, that's worth it. Yeah. That's if worth we get, it. If we get Raph. Yeah, even okay. if it's a lower box. There's the Creeper from Scooby Doo, which is amazing. There's the Glow, or the, not the Glow in the Dark, the Flock Scooby Doo, which is amazing. And that's the Thousand Piece. And we have a thousand piece from Saturday Morning Cartoons, uh, Marvin the Martian, somewhere. Oh yeah, he's right over there. He's here. right there, right there. And that's a huge one. Wolverine, Unmasked, uh, and then there's a Star Wars one. It looks like Princess Leia, I can't really see. Yeah. Uh, Leonidas, Homer, Lindsay really loves the Homer one. I don't know why. She loves the I Homer I just one. think Homer's really cute. Aquaman. There's a convention exclusive Marvel uh, Doctor Doom, uh, and we just recently got the grayscale slash black and white uh, Doctor Doom, and that one's awesome. Yeah. There's the not the most recent Freddy Funko Frankenstein. This one's cute. Yeah, but there's the Freddy Frankenstein, and it's a San Diego Comic Con. I don't know how many pieces that is. I don't know. But amazing and, possibilities in this box. Yes, yeah, you're guaranteed one off that page. Every one on that page is worth it. It is. They're amazing. And this is all off of the pop price guide, I believe, which is kind of going a little bit crazy right now. We've talked about that a bunch. Uh, but either way, we've looked up these, like some of them, right? They're selling prices, what they're actually going for. Uh, you know, for instance, the Raphael Metallic. You know, the Metallic Raphael is a little bit lower, actually, on its PPG than what it's going for. People are asking two to $4,000 for the set of those. That's crazy. Uh, I don't want to wait any longer. I know you guys don't want to wait any longer. Usually we don't go through the picture like that, but this is such a big box I wanted to. Yeah. Uh, so let's just jump into it. All Side right. note, I got the coolest shirt the other day at Box Oh my lunch. gosh, yeah. Turn around, maybe you can see it. We'll just put a picture up. Okay, that's a good point. <laughs> we'll put a picture up because it's a great shirt. I saw it and I was like, okay, um, I need this shirt because obviously with everything else that I have, it just makes sense that I have this shirt. We got the kitchen set, we got the water bottle, we got the Funkos, we got the pin. Like, why not just get the shirt? Yeah. Remix mystery minis. Yeah. Oh, mystery we minis, yeah. Those too. Uh, and so we've been into this for a while and we saw they were doing the full-on Funkos, we got so excited. Oh yeah. And now we've just been buying everything, it's ridiculous. Yeah, that's true. Alright, so like I said, no more further ado, but there's further ado and there's actually even more further ado because I'm sure this is a box in a box. Oh, it's three. Three boxes? Three pops. Oh, three pops, okay. Okay, so I don't know which one is gonna be the main from the screen. I don't. I also don't know. Right. I'm gonna say this one. Is it a hard stack? That's a okay, hard stack. Okay, so Lindsay's right. And that settles the mystery of do they all have uh, rubber duckies? Yeah. It looks like the answer is no. So that means we're probably not getting one off the top row. Dang. Or top two rows. All right. I don't know. All right, so what's this one? Maybe it's rad. Tiny Tina from Borderlands. <laughs> Okay. That's pretty cool. Oh, we haven't even opened a pop yet, so we haven't yeah. focused yet. Tiny Tina. She's got a little band-aid on her nose. That's cute. That's pretty fun one. I don't think we've seen that. I don't think so either. Oh. I don't think we've opened... Wow, I can't speak. I don't think we've opened a lot of Borderlands pops. We have got, got a clap tra trap. Yeah, we got clap trap. Yep. We got a sweeper bot. I don't know if that's Borderlands or Overwatch. Oh my or... gosh, she's got a little bunny in her hand. Oh, okay. That's super, super adorable. That's our new... Um, favorite Borderlands pop of all time. It's true. That was an easy decision. I guess I should start working on this one. Oh. That's Scare Glow. You, oh my gosh, she loves Masters of the Universe. I have, this is great. That's a, that's a big pop. It's the 2017 Summer Convention. But I've been actually looking to buy the Sculptons. I think I've sent a couple offers. 
Uh, that's an amazing one, and it's glow in the dark, so you know what that means. We're gonna put a picture or two up. Yep. Uh, this is so great. This is so awesome. Uh, I feel like this should be the main Funko. I'm still uh, trying to find where the tape is here. Oh, we got, find it, I don't know if the it. other one had it, but we got, Oh. this is pretty cool. Some stickers. Yeah, I don't know if their stickers are like rub on stuff. All right. Are you ready for... All right, this is the one from the page. I feel like it's going to be a little bit lower one because this is a pretty expensive pop. I really hope it's wrath for you. <laughs> I really do. Oh, oh nice! I actually, I actually really wanted this one. I want... Yes, because we really wanted the one that they just dropped. Oh, man. But we didn't get that one. But, oh, this is awesome. Okay, this is a pretty good one. 350 piece. Freddy Funko as Frankenstein. The new one is called uh, Frank and Freddy. That's really awesome. That's good. That mixed with Scare Glow. I mean, this is a fantastic box. Yes. Yeah. This is wow. this is actually really good. I'm glad that we had two personals. Uh, we did look at this when we wanted it. We were talking about it. Now I feel like we need to go to that store in the mall that always has the Frankenstein on the shelf behind the register. <laughs> And buy the regular Frankenstein. Oh, to go with oh Funko yeah, Frankenstein. The, the monsters one. Yeah. Oh, that's actually a really good point. So what a box! This is awesome. Scare glow. I didn't expect that as like a runner-up pop. That one's really cool looking. We're gonna run our pop price guide. Check these out. We're back with surprises. Here's some of our logic that happened in our heads. We opened the box. We had three, three Funkos to open. We're like, ah, oh, you know, the other one that we saw was Vincent Vega and the Gold Felix. Yeah. Right. So we're like, all right, if you got one that like top rows hit, a couple top rows, then you only got two. That makes sense. Um, you know, because you get one really big one and one decent one to give you a good value. Yeah. And uh, I think the minimum value is were seven hundred. Yeah, seven fifty, seven hundred minimum value. And I was like, all right, and we got a Borderlands pop, and I was like, all right, that's probably like fifty or sixty bucks. Tops and, is what I thought. Yeah, and then when she said there was no like rubber ducky, I was like, all right. Uh, after we opened them all, I knew this one was 150, 200 ish somewhere in there uh, because I've been trying to buy it for a little bit. Uh, <laughs> and I figured this one's 50, and I was like, all right, this is probably like a $300 pop, and that'll put us right up to the $700 uh, minimum value. And that's what I thought because we got three pops and we didn't get a rubber ducky. Uh, and then Smyrold said, no, that's not how we roll. We're gonna throw in a hundred and thirty dollar Borderlands pop, and what we did is we know that pop price guy's been pretty crazy, so we looked it up. And this one does vary a bit. It does, yeah. It does. It, the last one it sold was like seventy five dollars. The one before that was one hundred and fifty plus shipping. The one before that was like one hundred and thirty dollars. So it is all over the place, and it doesn't matter because this is an awesome. It's an awesome Funko. So cute. Yeah, the little rabbit that's super cute. Uh, and it's got really good value and it's actually selling for that. Yeah. Then we go check out Scare Glow. It's PPG is $190. The non-shared, there's a con sticker one, uh, PPG is I think 210, 230. So, yeah, very close yeah. in value. It's just a little bit above that. Uh, so I'm really glad that we got this. I've wanted it for a while. And then we went on like active bids right now and they're 150s plus with time left. And went on recently sold. Uh, and there was, I think one person's asking a low amount for it because the box is like completely crinkled in. Yeah. Uh, and then everybody else is asking like 200 plus. Like this is a great Funko. So after those, we said, all right, this one's probably 300. You know, an amazing grail, an awesome Freddy Funko as somebody. Uh, that's the ones we really like. Uh, but instead... This one is $620. Holy cow. These two is the price of the box. And then you got that. And then we got this like scare glow for free. Pretty much is how it worked out. It blew away our expectations. And then Lindsay said, all right, let me check eBay. We went to eBay and I don't think there's any listed. There was the one glow in the dark one, which is like over two grand. Yeah, so it's not um, that one. <laughs> yeah, it's not that one. And there was nothing listed for this one. There was only the sold ones and they were around this, if not climbing. Yeah. That's crazy. This was unbelievable. As the box opening went on, like when I saw him as a second one, I was like, there's no way this one's gonna be worth a lot because this one takes up so much of the value of the box. 
and then to then on top of these two, a $600 Funko. I knew that this was going to be a fun box. Obviously, it was $750, but like, I wasn't expecting this much. Yeah, the only bad thing about this is these two are ones that we want. So a lot of times what we do is we recycle the, the Funkos that we get in mystery boxes. We sell them on eBay, we take the money that we get from that, and we buy more mystery boxes. Uh, and we use that with our other eBay sales to fund all of these mystery boxes. Yeah. But this one is just, oh, now we got these two pops. If you're gonna get these two pops, that's the way to do it. Yeah. Same like with Gizmo, right? On a $200 mystery box. Okay. Yeah, like, odds are, if we were to go and try to buy these, they'd be well over PPG, so we'd be spending well over $700 to get these anyway. Yeah. We'd spend over $700 probably to get this. Yeah, probably. I love Freddy Funkos so much. And Freddy Funko as another person is one of our favorites. <sighs> it is. Then you do a Freddy Funko as Russell. <laughs> Shut your mouth. So Smywall just coming through with hit after hit after hit. It's funny, $620 pop didn't get a rubber ducky. That's how crazy this box is. Yeah. We can't wait to go see what everybody else got. And now we can. Oh. We, we try to put off the the videos. Yeah, we don't want to know what's like already taken. Yeah. So we try our hardest not to watch them. And now we got to go watch Wide World of Gamers video. Yep. Uh, that's one of the first ones that we're thinking about. Uh, and his video is up because it's up at the time of us recording this. Yeah. Uh, go check it out. We don't even know what it is, but we know it's going to be awesome. Yep. His luck is, you guys think our luck is good. He's got some crazy hits. Yeah. All right, for real, last, last, last time. Thank you so much, Smile World. Everything you do is amazing. Even the $60 boxes we've been getting that have just been fun, have been amazing. Uh, and this is over the top. And thank you guys for watching. This is Grown Kids TV. We'll see you later.